is 7.20 Saturday morning. Kids are asleep. Got a house wash to do. Then we gotta go. Water sports all day. Bathing suit. Water shoes. We're ready to rock, but business before pleasure. We're gonna do a quick house wash. I'm gonna demonstrate a side wall that's got a lot of yuck, a lot of mildew and mold and old pollen. It's been probably three or four years since this house has been washed. So what we got, pool essentials, 10.5% sodium hypochlorite, all right, SH. So if you're not familiar with what SH is, sodium hypochlorite, all right. 10% active ingredient, 90% water and whatever for a total of 100%. So this is bleach. This is Clorox bleach. This is Home Essentials bleach from Kroger. This is bleach. Um, concentrated bleach is going to be 8.25% and this right here is 10%. You can also get bleach or sodium hypochlorite in 12.5%. That's really, really, really dangerous stuff. I don't use it. It's just too hot. I've used it in the past. I don't use it. 10% right here will do everything you need. I got about a half gallon left. I'm going to take this half gallon. I'm going to take about one, two, three ounces of Dawn dish soap. You guys like to call it mustard gas because it says on the back, do not add bleach, not for use in dishwashers. Dawn contains biodegradable surfactants. Perfect. I need a surfactant. I don't care about not adding bleach. Here we go. People freak out on YouTube because I do this. It works like a champ. And I mean, don't be sitting here huffing this shit with a straw. You know what I'm saying? Um, about a half a gallon of this 10% to three gallons of water in uh, a backpack sprayer. You can pick up a sprayer like this, fairly cheap, at your Lowe's, your Home Depot's and stuff like that. That's it, you just made an awesome little setup. We're gonna go wash a house. I mean, seriously, how else are you gonna, are you gonna do a, uh, a house wash at seven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday without getting your ass shot, right? <laughs> so we're gonna go knock out Save a Lawn, Save a Life, and I'm gonna demonstrate on the really bad wall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick house wash and then rinse it with the garden hose. And so that way you guys can see that you can get this done um, without expensive fancy equipment. You know, if you're just a homeowner out there trying to get your house clean, then there you go. So that was with 10% sodium hypochlorite. So you say, well, Dan, what should I use if I use the concentrate bleach, the 8.25% off the shelf at Walmart or Kroger, Publix, whatever? I'd mix it about the same. I'd go about the same. A four gallon backpack sprayer, about three gallons of water, and about a half a gallon of the bleach. It's gonna be pretty hot. You'll get right through it pretty quick. Here's what we got. That's a mess. Looks like we got a wasp nest up here. There's yeah, some baby wasps there. So as soon as you get the bleach and the soap on them, they'll leave you alone. But this is pretty yuck, so we're gonna go ahead break out we'll go ahead and break out the wand here pump it up make sure it's mixed up good and what I want to do is just start down in the bottom corner here and make sure it's it's rinsed through the wand yep I see soap now so we're good we're ready to rock, so this is it, man. This is the most simple house wash you'll ever do. Let me back you up a little bit so you don't miss anything. Start from the bottom, work your way up. People say that stops streaking from happening. No 
them wasps are coming out. Okay, ready? They're pretty pissed off now. That should take care of them. See it's cleaning the wall? Quick little extra dose here. All right, while you guys are watching this nasty turn to awesome, I'm going to go get the garden hose. Got behind here real good. Got a little bit down here still left to do a little bit of work. A little bit of eating through. Now my recommendation to you guys is you go ahead and spray and keep spraying. Okay, but for video purposes we're going to stop at a certain point here. Uh, oh, you guys are always asking me, will my Will my mix work on on concrete and brick? We'll just go ahead and spray this directly on it. And we'll let this sit for a while. We might have to come back later in a different video. Let this sit for a good while and see what happens. It'll definitely clean the hose reel. But usually when it comes to brick, it requires pressure to get the, uh, the yuck out of the pores. It's a very porous material. All right, we'll let it do its thing for a little while. Let's go check this side wall, see if we're ready to rinse. It looks pretty darn good. A few extra little spots here. Give it a quick little whatever. Okay, now for the rinsing part, see, when you have a pressure washer and you use the black tip and you apply your soap, um, it, it, it puts a lot more volume on so it helps to clean and rinse things down as the bleach sits and starts doing its magic. Then you pull your siphon tube only, leave the black tip on, and then you go back with that good fan, that good force of water, and you rinse everything down nice and easy. It's a lot easier with a pressure washer. But when it's 7.30 in the morning on a Saturday, and the neighbor's bedroom's right there, you don't want to be running a pressure washer right now, and you got things to do, so you're just doing a quick house wash. Maybe it's your own house, maybe it's your neighbor, your mom, your mother-in-law. Or you're doing this for a quick 50 bucks. You're just going to wash a house real quick. Um, or 100 bucks. Or 300 bucks. Whatever your market is. 
and you got to use a garden hose and a backpack sprayer it's a lot harder to rinse it clean you'll get it looking nice you see it looks nice now remember what it looked like let's put a before picture up okay now look at it now and we didn't do anything but spray my little mix on there about a half a gallon of bleach to three gallons of water with a little bit of soap and look look how much is left what did we use maybe almost a gallon almost and we did the brick over there so we're gonna go ahead and rinse this now and my point is you have to use your garden hose to rinse you have to have some patience okay it's not gonna rinse as quick and as easy as using a pressure washer rinse from the top work your way down Look at the dirt coming off. Now, start a flow of water flowing through the vinyl, rinsing all the dirt off. This is why you put soap in it. The soap loosens everything up, rinses it right off. Again, slow the dirt. So how'd we do? No second coat really required. Looks pretty darn good. That is a very simple and quiet way to do a house wash. So we just got this and the other side of the fence is the nastiest part of the house. So we just got that done like that. Again, the recipe, about a half a gallon of bleach, 10% or 8.25%, excuse me, is about all you need. Three gallons of water into a backpack sprayer three ounces of soap, an ounce for every gallon of water. Spray, leave it on for a little while. If you need to hit it one more time, go ahead, rinse it with a garden hose. Done deal. Too easy. You got it? All right. All right. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles.